Hello everyone and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth where I have a free streak even though I am trying to unlock things which is unbelievable. I said at the end of the last episode we might do Eden on the, uh, the, the void fight. Maybe we'll do something that's even harder than that. I don't know. <clears throat> we do have a lot of Apollyon stuff to do but we have done a lot of Apollyon stuff so I'm just going to hit random. Uh, oh I'm on greedier mode. Drat. I guess we're doing Eve greedier mode because I forgot to change. The, the game tag. But that's okay. If we die early, I will switch back, and if we die late, I will call it a greed, greedier attempt, and uh, you know, just go from there. No, thank you. Okay, good. Um, let's see what we win from this item room. Bombs. Bombs are fine, because we have a reroll machine, which makes bombs good. Um, if we can get HP without having to pay for it, that would be great. Oh yeah, perfect. That's literally exactly what I was hoping for. We've got a damage upgrade from the pentagram, which gives us still not great damage, but when we we can use the razor blade to get into the horror Babylon state, and there is another HP, which will allow us to do it a second time. The uh, horror Babylon state itself will give us an HP upgrade, and the use of the uh, razor blade will give us an H a damage upgrade, and it will also pop up dead bird, which will be just passive damage. So uh, hopefully this run will be anywhere near as good as the previous Eden run. That Yera rune at the end of the game, which allowed us to buy basically everything we wanted, and then Abaddon on top of it showed up, um, just was an easy win. And it was handed to us on a silver platter, and I'm happy to have knocked that one out of the park already because that was... with an Eden start, it's so easy to get something that's super, super unhelpful. Uh, winning a run the, the fact that we got a good one first time round was you know pleasing but a lot of it was in the RNG of the items that had we had available to us on the shop so uh, which you know is pretty much exactly the point of greedier mode but my point is that we we can't rely on any of the things that we had on the last run to happen again uh, certainly not good play because I'm playing Although I haven't taken a single hit on this entire uh, greedy mode basement. Which is kind of tempting me to press this button. It's mm, double monstro. Double easy monstro though. Double weak monstro. Well I guess double monstro is two monstros with slightly more than half the health of an actual monstro. So that's okay. Please don't hit me. Whoa. Nearly got hit by that though. Having the speed necessary to avoid many of these enemies is actually quite nice. If you remember the uh, start of the last run, we didn't. Uh, so being able to just run around and avoid this dingle is super good and it's nearly dead. But I'm not going to do the deal with the devil run yet. I'm going to see if we can buy something from the shop, which may help us. Honestly, blank card may be that thing. I'm going to take this because we can use our razor blade again. I'll buy a key and see what we get, basically. Um, tech 2. What do you do here? Do you think you take it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the devil gives us. That was basically uh, a no-op. Nothing really happened just now. There's a pin? Oh no, it's another one of these. Okay. Another dingle. Having these rocks around is actually greatly useful. Now, tech 2 has the huge benefit of being... Um, piercing shots and infinite range. It has the massive disbenefit, the drawback of being a damage downgrade and we are Eve <coughs> excuse me, which means we already have a damage penalty going on. Oh my jeez. This is a difficult thing to decide. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and take Judas's shadow and get out in one go. I did it! Oh, but we still can't afford it. And we're Judas. Oh, I forgot that we'd be Dark Judas. Well, we're now Dark Judas. <laughs> um, we still have the Horror Babylon, though. So Eve starts with the Horror Babylon, which is super interesting. We're not Eve now, which is a problem. Which means I'm probably going to take Tech 2 because I don't know what's good for me, and why not? Um, but this is going to be... If we win this, it's going to be a Dark Judas win. So our damage is 9.1. 
And honestly, I don't want any of this, but we do have two bombs. So it's, I think the best thing to do, uh, yeah, we take a syringe, is re-roll when you have money and the ability to re-roll. If you have lost the ability, if you've lost money and or you don't have the ability to re-roll, save your money. Unless you've got so much money that you can buy, basically buy a re-roll for 15 cents. Uh, don't even try. Spirit Heart? No. Worth a try. Uh, like, there's no re-roll in here, right? So we're not gonna try. So we we take how many ranges? No use. Mom transformation is basically no use. Do we want any of these things? Not really. Fanny pack could be okay. So unless we get a re-roll somehow, this shop is going to be basically a wash. I'm going to suggest that there's no point trying it. Uh, also, the item room is basically a wash. The the silver one anyway. But at least we got black powder. I've forgotten about that. We had black powder on the last run, and it actually saved us from a couple of difficult rooms, even though we were so slow that it was uh, quite hard to get any value out of. There is a void portal up here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, excuse me. This is another one of those rooms where having a little black powder plate is quite useful. Thank you. Because if you can kite these enemies onto it, you're gold. And that's what we did on the previous run. We Oh, that was bad damage. We, um... That was a creep, and I didn't notice the creep. We kited the uh, Larry Jr. and Chubb fight onto a very tiny black powder circle, but uh, nevertheless a successful one. Which meant that we could you know, run away and, and not be near it. Thank you to this portal and this portal for just ending themselves immediately. Uh, I do want to go in there. I would like a bomb, basically. I can see no way of getting one unless we go to the cursed room. I think going to the cursed... Uh, we we'll go to the cursed room for five cents, basically. Is... Health up. That's fine. Power pill gets us out. I'm quite happy with that. There's no health around. Oh, we should buy a key, too. Yoink. Uh, there's no health around, but there could be at some point. Uh, and... The relic is such a good item, especially on on a, a game like this where I think you basically get a relic payout every four waves rather than every four rooms. It's it works the same. I'm missing with so many of my actual tiers, but uh, technology shots are so good. But I don't really care. This is the uh, champion version of the haunt that annoys me. Because I can't remember what it shoots. Is this the one that shoots at angles? With the weird um, spray of shots that you have to dodge between? No. No, it is not. Okay. Not knowing up front is uh, not very good for you in the sanity department. Chat can go quite uh, senile. Not knowing what sort of haunt is facing. At least we have piercing shots. Piercing shots against this enemy is actually um, unexpectedly great because it means you don't have to dodge between those stupid homing bastard things. Right, what have we got here? Abaddon. We will take it because we are the best. Do we want Book of Belial? I think no. Half of the point of Book of Belial is that it gives you a good deal with the devil chance. We have guaranteed deal with the devil. We do not need that. So we're not going to be re-rolling our range upgrade, but we do have tiers, so the range upgrade is not terrible. And it's part of the mom transformation, which itself is pretty terrible, but I don't really mind. We have 17 cents for the next floor, which may actually have bombs and a re-roll machine on it. Eight minutes onto the depth version. So we're going pretty fast here, I think. Ooh, careful. We'll press it. It is a bomb. Hooray! There's no tinted rock or reroll machine, but there is two HP, which I think is worth it. Yeah, because it's we're going to be doing the deal with the devil thing. So buying raw liver for two eight for for fifteen cents is just uh, no no money. Need more money. I thought I had seven money for some reason. Uh, yeah, we're going to be wanting our deal with the devil, so we will take a range and tears upgrade, and only one spirit heart. But we might be able to somehow. <coughs> Sell our real HP? I don't know. Let's uh, push button. Well, we can do this. Oh, as Judas, 
we do not have the benefit of being able to get into the Horror Babylon state at one red heart. We have to have zero red hearts, or half a red heart, which we can't get down to using this item. We have to pick up half a red heart and then use it again. Hadn't thought of that. And the other thing I was mentioning before is that um, as Eve, you start with the item Horror of Babylon. Whereas as Samson, you start with the effect of Bloody Lust. So if you if you re-roll out of Samson... Oh, I'm stuck. Let me out. I didn't realise there were holes there because they blended in. Um, if you re-roll Samson into a different character... Yeah, look at the payouts we're getting. Unbelievable, Jeff. Um, then you lose Bloody Lust. If you re-roll Eve, you keep Horror Babylon, but you lose the Horror Babylon bonus. Which is interesting, because you would have expected not to be able to keep Horror Babylon at all, because you started with it. It's, it's Eve, not... Um, you know, it's the effect of Eve. Not an item. You didn't expect to be an item, basically. Uh, okay. Lumper Coal could be good with uh, good range like we have Taurus. We have got 1.9 speed, so I think buying Taurus is actually a pretty decent idea. I do immediately feel way more sluggish. But it won't be long before it pops. There we go. And I'm trying not to uh, accidentally press the button here. There's a spider causing me to take longer. I should use that, because it is a damage upgrade, uh, even though we don't have the Horror Babylon from it. And I'm hoping to um, just sell this HP to a deal with the devil anyway, so... We will be permanent Horror Babylon. I assume that Horror Babylon is better than um, the Razor Blade. Razor Blade. There's a black heart in there, I didn't realise. Oh, there's a half a red heart. So I'll do this, I'll do this. Come out here, press this, get the Horror of Babylon in Judas style, and the Razor Blade bonus. Oh my god, we're fast. <laughs> we're very fast, even with Taurus. We're at 1.9 again, thanks to the Horror of Babylon. Even though we have Taurus. So our Taurus... Uh, Penalty at speed, off speed, is uh, 0.1. Oh, this is good. Right, 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 right. So here's what you do. We don't need the nail. So you take nine lives, which is basically free because it gives you our XP back. Then we take the pact, which is damage to tears upgrade, and the ability to fly for free. So with a Leviathan now. I think Lump of Coal is worth it. I will buy a key on the next floor because it could be only three cents, which would be beneficial to us. But uh, again, this is another one of those runs that just turns out to have been accidentally amazing. Oh, 1.6. Oh, that's probably because we don't have the Horror Babylon effect. Yeah, so now we have the Horror Babylon again, we're up to 1.9. Another mom item, and it's a range upgrade as well. So our range is great, which means... Um, oh, that's a shame. It means... Uh, the... Lump of coal could be quite good for us. I think I might give some HP. That's interesting, isn't it? Because the halo... It means we can play that joker. But we can't... Keep the horror Babylon. Which I think is going to be okay for a while. But well, we can do this, right? But... We can't really maintain it too well. I think I'll buy a key and open this, because why the heck not? I haven't got any money, so I won't. But we could. So we've got Horror Babylon. We're in the market to replace our spacebar action. We don't really need it. Excuse me? Kind of hoping for a little bit more of, a, of a, an amazing thing to have happened than that. I'm going to try and protect my black hearts, actually, if you don't mind. So I took the Halo, even though I knew that it would put me at uh, a half red heart. Uh, a, f a single red heart, which means the only way to get to half red heart is something that gives us half red heart damage, i.e. something like a demon judgment. Because we can't use the razor blade to do that. It just doesn't work. Razor blade takes a full red heart, so if you don't have a full red heart, it takes a spirit heart. This is a bit of a 
difficult way. Okay, good. These brimstone ghosts can bite my shiny metal ass. So our damage is great despite tech 2. Did we have HP somewhere? Not on this ground. Not on this ground. But there's enough um, payout from the relic that I don't mind giving a couple of spirit hearts to this guy to see what he's got for us. Hangman doesn't really help us in any way. We can use that. That takes away a red heart. Gives me a range upgrade, apparently. And this, uh, this lovely little Cuban meat that we've got going on here. Broken magnet. Perfect. So, yeah, a spacebar item would be greatly. We could re-roll our stats, but actually I like, I like them. Why don't we just keep this? And then any time we get red HP that we don't want anymore, we just use our potato peeler and improve our... Um, improve our Cuban meat, which is going to be great with Taurus, because as you realise, and I realise at the very last minute, um, when we've got Taurus going on, we can use our... Uh, I'll keep the meat to do damage, as well as the fact that Taurus does damage with the, with the bullhorns. So, we go out. We come back in again and reset Taurus. I took damage thinking that Taurus would already have popped, but Taurus had not popped. Oh, how foolish. And honestly, I think two carrion queens is better done without Taurus than with, because of our, our infinite range piercing shots. And the fact that apparently we do a shitload of damage just to the tail. Devil gives us nothing of great value. Maybe you've got something for me? We have so many spirit hearts available to us that giving some to uh, Demon Judgment is not a terrible idea right now. Hey, Waz, what can you give me? Not a crawl space. Two of spades. What? We're on the wound, so I'll just use that right now. Give me something. Give me a payout, bastard. Balls of steel. Excellent. I'll give you one more. Oh, okay, good. That was half of one more. That's the mom transformation, which is basically meaningless. Explosive diarrhea means run the heck away. Health up means we can uh, replace that if we want to. Question mark, I found pills. We've got x lax back, which doesn't really help. Uh, our single red heart is actually currently empty. We have eight bombs, so I think not re-rolling this shot would be a foolish thing to do. Um, again, we don't really want the HP. Do I want to spend 15 cents on basically a cube of meat? I do not. And we don't need to use our potato peeler until we decide that we can't get anything out of the... Um, uh, until we put something into our... Red Heart, and then we haven't got Horror Babylon anymore. So what I might do here is... I'm really tempted to get the flies. I think I will. The reason I'm going to get the flies is that on the Greed fight, we're going to have a lot of enemies that will be producing flies for us. And apparently you get a fly for each stage of an enemy, which is also nice. Um, yeah, this is good. The the enemies that come out of the... What? Um... Another mom item. Might as well. What the heck? What the heck, eh? Uh, the the enemies that come out of the doors and the, the greed spawns will be giving us uh, flies all the time. The tower versus X like. I think we take the tower because we could um we could explode the. Oh yeah, Taurus. <laughs> we could end up exploding the um. The reroll machine, which could be good for us. It's a, it's a free bomb, basically, for the reroll machine. We don't know what our HP is, which is interesting. Not something I'm really down with. You please die. You also die? Great. Where is that ghost? There it is. There's another ghost. Not. The ghosts are too surprising. I think that's my problem with them. You can't. You can't decide where to stand. You have to already be in the right place when they show up. And then they disappear because you haven't got the DPS necessary to get rid of them before they do so. And all of a sudden you're in a very wonky position indeed. That was pretty good. Uh, 19 flies, might as well use that now. We do want to buy that. 
Uh, I should pick up the HP required to do so then. Uh, this HP? What's the golden round thing called? The money. It's all about the money. I'll explode this joker. I'm not going to give him any money. But he may give me some money. He did not. Very upsetting. Uh, there's HP here. We did need it. So, kind of glad I took it, I guess. Already, with the uh, mom's knife behind us, actually, having Taurus is really, really good. I walked into it thinking Taurus was going to pop occasionally, uh, immediately, which is something I've done twice now. Uh, it's not the case. Taurus is actually going to pop after a couple of seconds because it has to charge up first. Will you pop up, please? So I can get rid of you before the cage lands on me. And done. Deal with the devil gives us. Gimpy. The three spirit hearts. Probably worth it. Yeah, I think so. There's enough time between now and, you know, purgatory when Gimpy can pay out with more spirit hearts than it costs us. We just got 15, 25 cents. We just got 25 cents. No, we had 10. We just got 15 cents from that uh, tower card. Unbelievable, Jeff. I will, I will buy the second hand because it will increase the time that fear lasts. What am I looking for now? I want... I don't really want a tears upgrade with a damage downgrade. I want another syringe. That's what I'm looking for. One up doesn't help. D1 doesn't help. Got plenty of bombs. Yes. Spun, spun. And we got x lax from it for some reason. Uh, <laughs> this x lax pill won't leave me alone, apparently. Now we've got instant um, Taurus. And the reason we've got instant Taurus is that our speed is already two. Which is amazing. Jen's doing really well today, apparently. Taurus is... Uh, popping, irrespective of what I want it to do. <laughs> it's popping on every room when I walk sh as soon as I walk in, which is great, but can it not? We'll open this, because there's no more... Yeah, there's a coin. That's fine. Um, No more keys that we can use anyway. So I'm hoping that when we press this, Taurus goes off. Yeah, it does. So one thing we could do is keep pressing the button, turn it off, Come back in, let Taurus go off, beat the wave with Taurus, press the button, right? Leave, come back in, press the button, Taurus the shit out of this bastard. I actually pressed it by accident that time. Finish the rest of it off with our tears. And then leave and come back in again. It's not as much money though. I'll do it one more time, uh, but... Like, I'll, I'll leave and come back in one more time, is what I meant to say there. But I don't think pressing the button is that valuable. Because we want as much money as we can on this very last of all floors. And honestly, we don't need this play. It's not very good. It's not helping. We don't need the help. It is helping, it's just we don't need the help. So, the help it's giving us is, is not that valuable. 18 cents. 18 flies. I think we do... We don't want the HP or the speed downgrade, so we will not take Thunder Thighs. We don't have a rechargeable spacebar item, so we will not take... Uh, I will take Champion Belt. I could almost be persuaded to take... Um... Oh, that was bad. The, the Tick, because we're going to be fighting... Basically, predominantly, exclusively bosses. But... I don't know if it's that that worth it. This is great. Die. Die, 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 die. We probably shouldn't be using the Taurus on the easy enemies. Oh, there you are. Hello. Please. That's okay. Probably shouldn't have used the flies there either. They're more valuable. Uh not being used on those. I think we say no to these. Thank you, but no. Thank you. And we try another couple of re-rolls. See if we get anything cheap or interesting. Mama Mega 
could be really good, but we don't have the opportunity. Uh, maybe we just buy the spirit hearts. It's a three cent red heart. Maybe we can get something for three cents. Nah. No, that's okay. We don't really need any of these things. This could be a secret room. It's not. It could have been money as well. It also was not. Uh, but that's the shop done. Squish that. Squish that. Extra spirit heart for our troubles, which is really, really useful to us. And now I think we're in a good position to win this, although we are going to win this as um, Judas, not Eve, because I didn't think that through, because... It's such a rare thing to have uh, to be a, a problem, you know? Ow. I didn't actually mean for that to happen. I was kind of stuck on... I was hooked on greed. Um, it's a rare thing for it to matter that you have respawned as Dark Judas. But it does matter when you're trying to uh, get an achievement as a character. You have to maintain that character all throughout, which means you can't take... Lazarus is rags, you can't take Judas's shadow, you can't take the Ankh, and you can't take the uh, mysterious paper or the, the missing poster, I forget which one. Missing poster, not missing poster. The way you pronounce that really does determine what it means. Excuse me, Greed, you're feared. Please, could you remain so? Like, a missing poster is a poster that you have lost. And yet, there you are, you have the poster in your hand right now. That is the trinket. A missing poster is a poster that says missing on it, which is what it actually is. English is an inflected language. Don't let people tell you otherwise. We are doing some damage to these heart thingies, which is kind of nice. But I am wondering how well we are going to manage against... Uh, take these pennies before greed does, especially that dime. Wondering how well we're going to manage against the explodey version, because this is not nearly as fast a run as it was last time. We're not we're not beating the crap out of it. Unfortunately. I mean, I didn't take the opportunity... Last time I was taking all the opportunities I could find to, um... Do you have an, uh, uh, orbital this time? All the opportunities I could find to make the, the blue phase of greed work for us, you know, when it's uh, ducking and away from bombs, but enough with this shit. I do have an orbital this time, which is kind of helpful, and these things are weak as all shit, so we can get a lot of flies from them, so that's nice. Which is why I bought this item, you remember me saying, the things from the doors and the thing, ow, things that it spawns are going to feed our fly economy, something, it's much better than having Guppy's head, basically. This item, when you have something, a, a run like this, when it's extremely long, is very nice indeed. Unfortunately, these coins do not count. That was, I just assumed that they wouldn't reach this far, because that would be uh, very upsetting if it reached this far. Yeah, the coins, busting the coins doesn't count as an enemy, so I'm not getting flies from them. However, that was a spirit heart. Thank you for the spirit heart. Please don't hit me with your fishes. All your explodey bombs. This is why I took Gimpy. Because when we're in this situation where we need a lot of um, HP, but we're not having waves of enemies that are producing it, any time that Gimpy can pay us back for a hit that we take is just grand. I mean, I think we're doing okay. Greedy is actually picking up HP right now. But there's not that much more opportunity for it to produce. The only opportunity for Greed to produce coins right now is if I take a hit. Woo. Although, where the heck did they come from? I don't need a luck upgrade, though, do I? I just need Greed not to be able to pick up the money. Great. Thanks. It's pretty difficult to dodge a lot of these shots, if I'm being honest. The explosion ones, I mean. The... Because he can fire quite a long way. He's got some good range on them things. Where is this money coming from? Are these coins exploding into money? They fucking are. These coins that are exploding are producing... 
pennies for greed to pick up. That's awkward. Please just die. We're nearly there. You know how this is going to end, Greed. I've got several black hearts left, so if you take any of them from me, you know how it's going to work. Being far away from Greed when those fishes happen is a very good idea. Apparently. Try not to be orthogonal to the doors as well. You can avoid it. Back in third. So you know where he's going to land. Avoid the fissure. Fissures are very difficult to avoid, especially if they're you know, coming right for you. But I think we have this in the bag. Just a few more shots. Come on, you bastard. Stop fighting back. There we go. There we go. That was a Judas win as Dark Greed, so that's two in a row. Very happy with that. I have Belial has appeared in the basement. That is an item I don't really understand. <laughs> I mean, I, I know what it does, but I don't know why. It doesn't seem to have quite the effect that you'd like it to have. Why am I putting money in the Greed Machine? I want to. I feel it would be nice if the Greed Machine would uh, have some value. Now that we have the Ultra Greed fight going on, because otherwise it doesn't seem like it is really useful. But anyway, that's another run. We have unlocked one more thing. Not two more things. I thought it would be two more things. Oh, we did unlock one more thing. We got a new pill in the basement because we squished all them pots or something. I don't remember. But that was a Judas win, I think. Let's check. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for a not greedy run. So, uh, do come back. <laughs>